Japan wants to hold high-level talks with Korea to sweeten soured ties, which have plunged to fresh lows in recent weeks. Tokyo's request comes ahead of U.S. President Barack Obama's visit to Asia in April. But with historical and territorial disputes still at the fore, the prospects don't look very good. Yulianne reports. Korea-Japan relations, which remain strained due to territorial and historical disputes, took a dive in December when Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited the controversial Yasukuni War Shrine, a shrine that honors World War II-era war criminals. In an aim to break over two months of silence and mend ties, Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida at a news conference on Tuesday expressed a will to meet with his South Korean counterpart, Yoon byung se he emphasized the importance of trilateral cooperation between Japan, the United States and South Korea in the face of the threats posed by North Korea. Kishida had already conveyed hopes for high-level talks when he met with Korea's second vice foreign minister Cho tae last month in Switzerland on the sidelines of an international conference. The new call for talks comes ahead of U.S. President Barack Obama's visit to Asia this April. Earlier this month, at a meeting in Washington, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry urged Kishida and Japan to improve relations with Korea ahead of President Obama's visit. High-level talks do not seem imminent, however, as there has been no resolution to speak of on the historical disputes that divide Korea and Japan. Japan has yet to offer compensation to the so-called comfort women who were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military during the Second World War. And this Saturday, Japan will hold a controversial event stressing its claim to Korea's easternmost islets of Tokdo, or Takeshima as they are called in Japan, despite Seoul's repeated calls to scrap the event. Yurian, Arirang News.